So basically, when I'm coaching pitchers, I always told them it's an exchange of ideas. I, I want to listen to you. Tell me what you feel. You know, and what do you like and what do you what don't you like? Then I'm going to tell you what what works and maybe it will work for you. You know, but it, I, with the track record that we had, anybody that came into the organization in, in, in that time was going to go with it because there was too much success. But, you know, young guys like Steve Avery, how was he able to do that? Well, he had killer instinct and he trusted a change of speeds at a very young age. So, but here's the bot. And I didn't teach Avery one pitch. They said, what did you, you didn't teach Avery a pitch? I said, no, my job was to help him. He's a number one draft pick. My job was to help him keep what he has. Well, see, I, I was around managers who looked at number one draft picks in the minors and said, well, you can't pitch like that. And he hasn't even pitched an inning yet. So they want to tinker with him. If somebody comes out of the minor leagues and he's had, he, and he's, you know, he's had success, then let him pitch the way he wants in, 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 for them, you know, how, how he, why he was signed. Now he's signed. Well, leave him alone. If he's having success, leave him alone. And uh, so, so Bobby says, take Smoltzy down to the instructional league and you go on the backfield with him and go one-on-one. Don't worry about all those other pitchers down there. He said, that's your job every day is to be with him. So we're down there in his first uh, bullpen session with him. And after four pitches, he goes, no, that ain't right. That ain't right. I said, what ain't right? I said, I didn't say nothing. And he goes, well, my front side and da, 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 da. And I went, would you, would you give it a break? I said, he said, well, in Detroit, I said, you're not in Detroit. I said, would you do me a favor? I said, would you wind up and throw the ball the way you would like to? And he wound up and threw the ball. And I said, and I said, that's one of the most beautiful deliveries I've ever seen. He didn't believe me. Oh, no. I said, do it again and repeat it. Because Smoltz, here was, here's what he came, what Bobby said he came with. A fastball, a great arm, loose arm, no command of a fastball, no breaking ball. He's, he starts throwing the way he wants to, right? And he's hitting the target. I mean, he's hitting the target every time. And I'm going, well, he's not wild, you know. I mean, uh, it doesn't look wild to me.